There are a ton of Minecraft horror series out there nowadays, but this one, this one is different. This is an analog horror-esque mod pack that I custom catered spent a lot of time making, and it creates a very interesting narrative where I go into this as a regular average Minecraft player looking for a chill survival experience, and it turns into something much more and much more horrifying. I've never been more scared playing a video game in my entire life. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you, not from the fog, but into the fog. I hope you enjoy. Alright, looks like we are loaded in. Birch Forest is... I mean, it's usually nice, but with this fog, that is just... That's a bit eerie. Anyway, first thing we naturally gotta do is mine a tree. Anyway, I didn't properly introduce myself here, so... Welcome to the start of Into the Fog. It I mean, the name is pretty self-explanatory if you look around me. I'm surrounded by fog. Anyway, so yeah, excited to see where this series goes in general. And, yeah, I don't know. I'm expecting, for the most part, uh, you know, great chill survival experience, nothing nothing much going on just you know make a house uh you know fight some mobs all the usual stuff get diamond gear nothing special right it's not like there's gonna be any um uh, out of the ordinary monsters or entities attacking me right that'd be weird would make for an interesting video, though, I do have to say. Thought I heard... Screaming. It's probably my imagination. get the texture glitch on my item here, that's insane. Very nostalgic, analog horror-esque vibes that we've got going here, over there. I'm not going to go in it though because, you know, I, I only have wooden stuff. If there's mobs in there and that looks like a fairly intimidating building, in all honesty, if there's mobs in there, I will probably die. And that's, uh, you know, we don't want that happening already. Of course. Come on, let me kill you. Oh no. like some kind of a mob there. Anyway, I'm 
I should be safe. I need a light source, really, but we can't exactly make do with that. I know that mob sound was that a ravager, uh, but that's not a ravager. Well, this is a normal world, right? We shouldn't be having any abnormalities here. Is that the right word? Anyway, I need stone. Um, like really badly and of course the place that I hunker down for the night happens to be the one mountain without stone I mean like what dude how is there no stone come on We're just gonna make a run for it. Let's go. Oh, I can't see anything in front of me. I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. Go. Oh, this rain's turning into a down. Why does the rain look somewhat, I don't know, gray? That's not just me, right? It looks off or something, maybe it's the shader, but I don't know. It's not sitting well with me. Okay. Finally, here is a place with stone. You know, like most mountains have, or most underground places, unlike that terrible crystal cave. Is that a wither skeleton I just saw? I think it was a glitch. Actually, this one make for a half bad temporary shelter. Anyway, I can get enough stone here for a um, uh, furnace. I will finally be able to make a furnace and smell my stuff. So that'll be nice. I am still a bit hung up on. I don't know that. Thing I saw earlier in the uh, that like black boar that darted across the screen.
And my eye will also have to smell the steak. Hang on. Looks like a cow died here. Well, that wasn't me. A wolf, maybe? No, wolves don't hunt cows, do they? What? Oh gosh. I think I was just killed by a cow. Well, folks. The more you know. The more you know. I've seen some things, but, um, uh. In my time, I have to say, getting killed by a cow was not one of them. Uh, until now, that is. That's, um. Yeah. I get to now say that I've been killed by a cow. I mean, hey, how many people can say that? In, in Minecraft, I mean. Um. I mean, I doubt many people can say that in real life either, but I'm sure there's someone. Okay, I need to get... I'm a, oh wait, I need more wood for the pickaxe too. I'm sorry, I've just got PTSD now from ever since that that, uh, cow killed. <laughs> See, it sounds dumb just saying it out loud, a cow killing. What? and ridiculous it sounds like this sadly happened. Um Even that squid looks weird. It's cool though, I like it. It's, uh, it's eerie and like horror esque, you could even say. Can we actually just sleep through the night now in the open? Please, that would be nice. Oh. Hmm. Who would have thought just on the other side, just through these woods, uh, a little line of trees in this giant open area. And 
dare to say I think I see a building over there. Hang on. Maybe I can find some food there. Oh, that's another food source. So long as none of you guys try to kill me like that cow. This a village? Doesn't look like a normal village. Not quite, it's like a little I don't know or something. Maybe I'll just get it here. Go away. Go away. I don't know what that is, but it <sighs> it's weird. I forgot I in this room light up my torches. It's a pain. Um that's what it is. This is Kind of, I don't know. I mean, just this filter makes everything look a bit eerie, I guess, but oh, damn. Jackpot, ruined town map, ancient Oh my gosh. Um, I'll take that. Oh, dude, the deep darkness is gonna be. Oh, that's. I don't even wanna think about that. That's gonna be so bad. What? What the? What is that? Go. Go, 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 go. Oh no. Oh, what is that? It's drowning. It's drowning. What kind of a mob is that? I don't know. Can I shoot it? It's gone. What? That looked like a player. I don't... I'm alone here. There's... there's this isn't a multiplayer world. I'm aware of that. I go. Okay, well, I should get closer to my leg. It is getting late, so I'm going to go to bed.
I'm sorry, what? Okay, yeah, I prefer that. We're gonna send this out by one in this direction. And this is sort of partly why I grabbed that extra copy. I always, when I'm building, <laughs> go like, oh, I actually want to make this wall one further out and then just. Making it that one further out actually takes so much. Like, there's so many blocks that I actually need to move in order to do that. It's, it's like every single time I'm not going to graduate it. Actually, I'm going to start this dirt or the other side because I think. Yeah. Second floor with just my bedroom with a balcony up on the roof there. I don't know how far that's gonna go. And then out here is gonna be much more open. More we'll of like a living room and a kitchen, dining room here. All that kind of stuff. Uh, workshop. Those things, yeah. Some of the typical stuff that you have in the house. As for the patio, I'm thinking for the height, I'm gonna do one and a half blocks tall so that mobs can't get over it, but it doesn't look like a straight up wall, it looks a bit more like a half wall or a fence. And it's lit up! Look at that. Because I already have the wood, I'm just going to also make the um, flooring right now, too. put some walls in the interior so that it's not just all completely open like this. I, I want to have somewhat of a open space in front of the bedroom, but oh, some torches under. There we go. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, so with the floor done and the house coming together pretty well, all along, all, all together, honestly. I think that this is a good place to move off for this episode. Uh, like I said earlier, I definitely want to continue this series. It's really interesting and I love the graphics of it, especially. Um, so far it hasn't been a very chill survival experience, though, like I, uh, I hope so. It's gonna be interesting though, it'll be a fun ride, so I hope you uh, stick along for it. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, and 
Yeah, I'll watch the next one if you want to see this house come further along. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hope to see you in the next one, and goodbye.